Alright guys, Negasonic2277 here, bringing you an old faithful, the Banjo-Kazooie. Let's do this playthrough, I'm doing it live. Uh, me personally, I, I like to do these live actually as much as I can, uh, just because it, mm, I don't know, gives me something to talk about. I don't know, it just seems like I'm going through the game twice if I have to record and then commentate so and especially if I'm doing a long game I prefer to just do it live because then it's just one time through the only problem with running it live is um, you're stuck with having to make an error in your recording and then you can't edit it out because you're stuck with it so um, some of my uh, commentaries if it's not live I can actually edit out deaths so it might seem like I'm a really cool really good at it <laughs> Personally, I'm not. <laughs> so, you'll actually get to see every death I do. Um, this game I found to be very, very fun. Uh, lots of antics and comedy. Um, uh, my first trial through this actually ends up I had <laughs> lots of background noise from miscellaneous people in which will not be named. Just because I don't want to hurt feelings. But, yes, I had lots of background. Uh, voices and things of these so this is Banjo Kazooie for the N64 made in 1998 so it is old so many people prefer game 1 and game 2 but me myself I would prefer game 3 because just check it out he's playing a Game Boy that is epic so anyway uh, this is the giant giant tower which is actually the very end of the game is at the top of that tower um, ironically, you go in through uh, that cave, and no, it doesn't lead to there. That's that's just anticlimactic. Anyway, no, this this cave is re you honestly. This is the end of the game. Where this is right here. This is uh, Grunty and her ding pot, and sadly, this is a little bit of a Dr. Seuss thing going on right here, and unfortunately. As gross as this is about to seem, you won't get to hear as much as the background, uh, gross, uh, as much as the background as normal because I'm going to, um, uh, quiet down the actual game, uh, itself because then, then it just gets to be a little hard to hear and then you have, like, conflicting voices and, and actually, if you can hear this, um, they're doing, it's funny because they're doing nothing but grunts and bloops and things of these. Uh, that person there is uh, Tootie, which is Banjo's little sister, as you saw in the opening uh, um, cutscene of the game. So yes, Grunty is obviously jealous, just like the classic uh, Disney movie of Snow White. And that is her magical broom, which makes no appearance in the game except for there. And of course, in a few seconds there will be um, and then of course uh, at the very end of the game other than that that broom is of no use to the story whatsoever and here comes blind the fat badger actually he's a mole but I'd like to say blindy the fat badger because it just seems to fit uh, actually I'm going to hmm, let's see if I can I wonder if I can fast forward any of this can I? Can I? Dang. Sadly, I can't fast forward any of this at all. Oh well. You'll at least get to view the cutscene. So here's our hero Banjo. In his classic sequence. Now what's really weird is that picture in the back of him um, with the backpack and all that fancy stuff. Uh, that picture itself, well not that picture in general, but the actual scene there takes a key role later on in the game. If you want to unlock stuff, there's actually, yes, and I will warn you, through this uh, commentary, there will be some um, spoilers. I, I try not to do as many as possible, but uh, obviously, if it's going not going to inflict the story at all, um, then I might as well just go ahead and give you guys a heads up, and then why not go home and you guys can give it a try. So, um, yes, that picture back there, if you go later on in the game, You'll go back into Banjo's house and, ha, ah, check out the comedy here. Um, uh, towards the right of his bed, there's another picture over 
uh, actually, when we uh, did the opening sequence and you saw me picking my level where uh, he was sitting there by the fireplace playing a Game Boy, above the fireplace is actually a picture. And if you click on the pic- or not click on the picture, if you'd go into first person mode and look at the picture, you could play a bunch of little mini games. Uh, they're, they're just puzzles, obviously, since this game, well, that's a spoiler right there. Yes, this game is centered around puzzle pieces instead of like classic Mario, where you're going for the Chaos Emeralds or Gold Ring, or like Mario, where you're going for Power Stars. Uh, this game centers around puzzle pieces, so yes. See, there's a little one that's surrounded right now, so actually I'll show you what I'm talking about um, and right here. Oh, I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about this hidden feature until you collect the jigsaws from the sandcastle. Yes. So, yes. The, um, this will all play a key role later, but if you ever want to uh, get far enough in the game, um, feel free to go back there and uh, check it out, because it'll uh, prove to be very useful. Alright, so. Let's talk to uh, Bottles. This is his actual name. Although blind the badger just seems to fit more. Yes, short sighted mole. Anyway. I personally don't like the talking because it's nothing but grunts and woos and this and things of these, so it gets to be very annoying. Although it is funny when you speed it up by holding the A button, um <laughs> they they talk in a little more of a high pitched voice. So it's actually really funny. But yes. All that all that aside is is pretty funny. Let's see. Yes, I'm going to say B, mostly because I've played this game so many times, and by skipping all this, all I have to do is simply go to the top of the mountain, which I'm not going to. So there's your basic gliding move, your basic attack is a roll, and if you're standing, you can do a punch, which I find very unuseful. Uh, here is a jump and peck move, which is A, B in sequence. Uh, these honeycombs are your life. You know, obviously you're thinking Winnie the Pooh, being bear and whatnot. You get this, uh, you know, gotta love the honey. These honeycomb, uh, shells, um, well, they call them pieces, but you get the point. Six, hmm. It's so very, very similar to a certain DBZ slash Sonic franchise game that I could think of with six. Too bad there's only six that you need and not seven. Otherwise, that would prove to be very similar. These rocks here, simple duck and bee. Cracks me up because they have eyes. <laughs> anyway. Normally, if I were to have hit A, bottles would teach me all these moves. So... Um, obviously by that molehill there. There'll be, there's actually more powers you can unlock, um, like this backflip I didn't teach you, which was, a uh, uh, duck in A. Um, if you simply just go do that, then you get the joy of, um, oh yes. And in the opening thing, these guys can't hurt you. So yes, this is not where the game is centered around, fortunately. Although, um, if you do, I'm not, I'm not very sure if I'll do a Banjo-Tooie, uh, Let's Play, only because, even though I have the game, I've never truly beaten it or even gotten that far, so I would have to play it twice, and, uh, I'm just not so sure I want to play through it twice, personally, just because, ugh, right now I'm really busy, I've got a lot if I can do this. Oh, joy. And if you can manage to get in here, this is your extra lives, which is a trophy. Ah, uh, sound error. Well, at least on my end, you guys won't be hearing it because you'll be hearing me. But, all that aside, um... So, yeah, I'm not so sure I want to do two. So, sorry. Um, I might, though. I'm just really busy right now with work and other things. Um, here is, if you hit the B button when you're in that water, you do that. Oh, look, I only need one more. I think this thing gives you one more. And uh, just like Mario, uh, if you hold the A button, you actually um, kick while you swim. 
sadly, uh, <laughs> you have to use the B button to try and uh, swim normally because obviously you're using Kazooie. And pretty much every move that uh, Kazooie is originated with is B. Um, ob for obvious reasons, because most of his abilities are attacks, except for the glide there. Um, so yes, I think I've gotten every honeycomb that I can here in this opening sequence. So, yes, let's move on, shall we? Aha, here's bottles. Yes, yes, yes. The funny thing is you saw earlier how those uh, planks were missing on the bridge. Uh, funny thing, they magically come back. <laughs> For no apparent reason. So, yes. Okay, so this is the scene that you see, obviously, here. Is uh, Grunty intends on being uh, very cute, fine, whatever you want to call it. I'm just saying she's still going to be ugly no matter what. Except for, and I highly recommend going and watching my um, future commentary or preview. Excuse me. Future commentary preview video that I posted earlier that has uh, Star Fox and. Um, this game in it um I, I i don't explain much in it but on the same token you get to view um the ending cutscene that happens if you game over which i personally am not going to do through like i said in that i said i'm not going to do just because that's uh just because uh so yes um so here we are inside the cave so yes this was on the other side of the cave and guess what there's my Magical star power. Oh, I am sorry. Jigsaw puzzle. Yes, I see. And I get my little jaunty dance. So yes, that allows me to go into worlds. Now, sadly, I don't have the ability that you learn later on to go up there, which you need. Um, I and obviously I'm not going to spoil it, just because that's me. So this is what you do when you get a puzzle piece. You simply go here, look in, and place the puzzle piece. If bottles would shut the heck up. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, press B to leave. Like, I really want to leave. And it kills me, because they always do some fun funky little opening, and then you get the fancy name that magically appears. That was such an easy fit. The others must may just test your wit. Yes, like I said, very, um, what you call them, if you will, uh, very Dr. Seuss-ish. So, all right, I will be signing out, and I will see you guys in the next part of Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play. Later.